Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a channeled message for a certain collective, a certain group of people. You're going to know right away if this message is for you or not. The title of today's video is you are or you're uncomfortable because you're adjusting to a new reality. So the people I'm speaking to today, you've been in a place for a long time of healing. You've been in a place a long time of working on yourself, on discovering you know, your past traumas. And you've come to a place now where you're in a place of exhaustion. You're tired, frustration, almost like everything I've been doing, has it even done anything? Is anything even changing? Is it even working? You're starting to doubt yourself a little bit. You know, all these practices, all this work I've done, has it even made a difference? You're feeling a little confused. Well, what should I be doing? You know, should I be doing this? Should I be going to these places? Do I need to spring into action? you're just kind of almost lost in a way yet there's an underlying tone of acting with entire trust and faith that you know things are working out just on the surface nothing is quite moving yet so if this is you today this reading or this message is for you and this is what I was writing down as I was kind of opening up uh, the channel or opening up the messages uh, and I'm, I'm gonna start because I think it'll be best delivered if I read what I was writing, what I had written down. So you're uncomfortable because you're adjusting to a new reality. The collective I'm speaking to, you've been frustrated, you've been confused, you're exhausted. Maybe your eating habits have been changing. You haven't felt like eating as much or you're eating a lot more. You've been starting to doubt yourself about your path, what you're doing, is it working? And you're uncomfortable and you're adjusting to a new reality because you've been in survival mode your entire life. You had a very difficult childhood, a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse, neglect, uh, bullying, verbal, emotional, physical, sexual abuse, these things. And then you've created or had created in the past a lot of similar experiences as to what you experienced in childhood that reinforced this negative belief system that you had built. But you got to a point in your life where you had enough and you woke up. Maybe it was a traumatic experience or you just had enough of living like this and said there's gotta be a different way to doing this because uh, if there's not, man, I'm gonna go crazy or I'm ready to give up. So you had enough, you woke up. And now you had over the past X amount of many months, weeks, months, probably years, I'm sure years actually, you've been doing so much work on yourself on healing a lot of these traumas that you had realized, you know, all this abuse, all these belief systems that were passed on to you by toxic parenting that you didn't realize at the time. So you had been doing so much work on yourself, healing the traumas and reprogramming your belief system. And now you're at a point in your life where you've broken through. You've broken through and you see what's possible for your life and have created a vision and know you've been working towards it diligently for what seems like forever, a long time, right? And now, like I said, you're kind of tired. This video is for you because I'm here to remind you what's happening is you're adjusting to your new reality. You are in what I call the in-between stage where you shed so much of your old self, your old relationships, ways that you used to think about doing things, the way you used to dress, the way you used to speak and act and behave, your habits, the things you used to like to do. You've shed a lot of that and it's no longer your life. Maybe bits and pieces, but on the whole, you just don't operate like that. You don't move like that anymore. You don't wanna go and do those things. You don't wanna have the same conversations with the same groups of people. You see what's possible and you're moving towards a better life. But because you've shed all those old habits, all the old relationships, the old version of you, you're in the in-between stage. You're not quite there. The new reality, the vision for your life that you've clearly seen and felt and felt moved to do in your heart, you shed all that away and you're not quite in this next stage of your life. So it's this weird limbo of, okay, like who am I? You're not the old person, but you're not quite the new person, but you can feel you're moving there. What am I supposed to be doing? 
and you find yourself extremely uncomfortable in an extremely uncomfortable place. Lately, you've been feeling restless, exhausted, maybe confused. Is this even working? Am I doing the right thing? Should I be doing this? Should I switch it up? What should I do? Just uncomfortable, unsettled, almost a bit lost. But you also know underneath, again, that good things are coming your way and you're operating on trust and faith because you've healed so much and seen how things have worked out for you in the past. As a result of you doing this work, you know that everything's working. But you're tired, you're exhausted, and you're at this place of like, when is this gonna happen? I keep getting all these messages, all the signs, it's just around the corner, just around the corner. You're kinda like fed up at this point and be like, oh my God, I gave up. <laughs> Frustration. This is a reminder again that you're in the in-between stage. You need to relax and surrender. Honor your needs, listen to your body, listen to your heart. If you need to rest, you need to rest. If you need to go work out, you need to go work out. If you don't feel like you wanna go work out, don't go work out. You feel like you need to go and meet new groups of people, then go and do that. You feel like you don't wanna be social at all. You wanna be a hermit and chill out, do that. Honor your needs and listen to your heart because you're in the in-between stage and your intuition and soul is speaking to you, guiding you as to what you should or should not be doing right now in order to make this process of transition as easy and smooth as possible. Because no doubt things are already aligned for you and this new reality is being ushered in, but there's a period of adjustment that needs to happen. That's where you are and I'm in myself right now. So relax and surrender, honor your needs, remain grounded. Go outside, put your feet in the grass, in the sand, in the dirt, on a hiking trail, get out in nature, ground yourself. Let go and continue to let go of the past because indeed you're in the final stages of this powerful transformation. And right now the old belief systems are coming up in your reality to test you to see if you've grown or just to remind you what you need to let go of. So let go and surrender, continue to surrender in this space of the in-between time that's uncomfortable. Allow yourself to process the frustration, the sadness, the grief, whatever's coming up for you, the anger, whatever you need to let go of, allow that to come up and that energy to move through you. This is part of the process of you transitioning from the old self into the new life that you're creating. You've already created it. You're uncomfortable because things are becoming abundant. They're becoming stable. They're becoming peaceful. Your entire life, you've lived in survival mode from all the family trauma, the abuse, and then you recreating the experiences in your life to reinforce that false set of belief. You've been in survival mode for so long, your central nervous system is not used to being in a place of calm, of stability, of security, of love, of comfort, of peace. And that's what's so uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable because things are becoming abundant, stable, and peaceful. And again, because you've been in survival mode for so long, this is now uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to have money. It's uncomfortable to have love and a partner that genuinely cares about you. It's uncomfortable to be healthy and not have any health problems and feel energized. It's weird, it's different, it's supposed to be. This is your new life, this is what you asked for. But you're in that in-between stage. There's an adjustment period, a calibration that's happening right now. Trust it. So give yourself grace and space to integrate the new you, the process of becoming the 2.0, amazing, incredible, abundant, sexy, healthy, intelligent, most powerful, loving, healed version of yourself. Give yourself grace and space to integrate. This is what you asked for and it's here. The more you let go and the more you ground into this new reality, the more you surrender, the faster and the greater the blessings and changes will become. The analogy that came to my head was, you think about it like this. These blessings are coming in. And in order for them to come in, you've got to let go and surrender. So you've got three levels of allowing, of peace, of non-resistance. The first one is, if you imagine yourself taking a shower, imagine yourself taking a shower and all you have is a straw and it's drip, 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 and you're like, dude, this is not a shower. I'm just getting dripped on by water by a straw. This is ridiculous, that's not it. Then imagine yourself standing under such a powerful waterfall, you can't even stand up. You're getting knocked down to the ground. You're slipping and sliding because the water is so powerful. That's too much. Now imagine you're right in the middle, the Goldilocks, right? The Goldilocks, right? The perfect porridge in the middle where you're in this beautiful 
wonderful shower head that's like, you know, whatever that is for you with the perfect temperature and the perfect water pressure. Oh, and it's so relaxing after a hot shower, after getting out of the snow or having a cold shower after being at a, the hot beach all day, whatever that is for you, that perfect shower, this is you grounding and centering yourself in the midst of these two stages of the old you going away and the new you becoming. Go at your own pace, be gentle, listen to your intuition and your body. Trust your heart, trust your body, listen to your intuition, process the emotions. I've been super emotional lately and I'm gonna go into my own process later. This is a reminder to you to honor your feelings, honor whatever's coming up and allow it to move through you. This is the process of letting go and transitioning into the new reality. Remember that you're not in a race with anybody or anything you are on your own path and you're going at your own pace. So honor that. Give yourself grace and space to integrate and become this new version of you. Let go with faith, love, and trust, knowing that it's all working out for you. This is what you asked for and it's here. It's challenging, but you're not alone. That's why you're watching this video. You manifested this as confirmation for you and hopefully it gives you a sense of inner peace and security and guidance as well to allow yourself to cruise for the life, the power of life, the power of the universe. You're in the flow. You're in alignment, you're in the flow. It's all happening. This is the process. So let go and trust. And I know how frustrating it is because I'm there with you. You're like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm frustrated as a goddess. What's happening? getting all these signs and yes, things are moving, but like, geez, man, how much more, right? You're almost there. Just relax. There's a little bit more healing and baggage that needs to be let go of in order for you to complete your transition. And as soon as you let go of whatever you're still holding on to, this transition will become easier. The blessings will begin to come in like you won't even be able to imagine they'll be far greater than you could have ever imagined this is the process quote i'll leave you with today the moment when you feel like giving up is right before your breakthrough victoria allen so it's about breakdown to breakthrough things are difficult right now because you're about to have a major breakthrough this is your breakdown breakdowns are not a bad thing breaking something down is about reorganizing when a, like I'm out in Las Vegas right now, they're just tearing down the Mirage Casino to build the hard rock that's gonna open in like four years or whatever it is. In order for it to become the hard rock, they have to break down the old Mirage, the entire property. They're demolishing buildings. So it's reorganization through the destruction. This is what's happening. You're being built back up. You've already done all the shedding or just about. You've got to let go of a few more things. You're just about there. That's what I've got for you today. That's what came through through me today for you and myself. I hope that was helpful. I'm sending you so much peace and love and I'll see you next time.